Oi, what are you doing? Okay, welcome to another tutorial on how to make these MAME thingies. So if we check out the Captain Commando, yeah, we added a dip switch. What is a dip switch? Well, these little dip switch thingies are actually included on arcade cabinets. And you can switch the little switchy things to change game settings. Like in Captain Commando, you can change it from 2 player to 4 player. And many other games do this too. Alright, let's check out how we got the values. We load up Captain Commando in MAME 64. Alright, so you can hit the tab button and go to dip switches. And then you can faff around in here. If you notice, you can flip the screen. Whoa! Whoa! Mental! Okay, so you can flippity flip the screen. What else can we do? You can change it to four players. You can change difficulty. Easier. Harder. Whatever you like. And we have four player mode, yes. Okay, we can change the keys here, all the buttons. And if you wanted, you could also go to video options. You might be able to add these to your settings, perhaps. If you want uh, pixel aspect ratio sorted. Oh, rotation, if you like. Alright, so, let's get out of here, check what is added. So we've got a little video thingy there. Mm -hmm. So this is the value that we took. Made sure we got rid of the coal on there. And we can copy and paste that into our input section. It's very similar to HTML, so if you know that, it should be sorted. And let's try this video here. Faffing is fun. Alright, once that's done, throw it on Pandori, transfer the file, and then we can test. Just make sure you check first in your Pandora settings that you have player 3 and player 4 setup and on a compatible pad very important and there we go okay now how do we share this hmm let's go see a friend I know he has the answer Yo, oh, what's he want? Best people like. Hello there. What the bloody hello? H hello? Hell do you want? Hmm. Eep! Could you show us how to share our main configs? <laughs> I was reading something important. But all right, send it over. Okay, let's just find our configuration. We're just gonna send it over to him. He can take over from now on. Catch you later. Looks good.
Right, let's do this. Or should I say, welcome to another Pandori tutorial! First off, we need to go to github.com slash muchicken. That's the home of our main repo for Pandori tool. Now the main version of the repo is read-only, so we have to make our own copy by clicking fork at the top of the screen. This copies Pandori tool to our own little space on GitHub where we have full access to it. Here on the left hand side we can choose the correct branch, in this case we want to modify some controls. Then we click on the right folder, so main139. And here you can see all the existing controls for main139 and an option to upload more. So let's upload one, choose your files. It's in downloads, captain commando config. Okay. So now we just add a little message saying what we did. Added new controls for Captain Commando. And commit changes. Now you can see we have an option, new pull request. This allows us to send our changes in our version of Pandori back to the main one. So you can say here, base repository is Pandori tool from MU Chicken, and the head repository is Calavera manual Pandori tool. We'll add another little message saying exactly what we've done. I've just added a set of controls for Captain Commando. Take a look. It doesn't have to be too long. This is just like a little forum and you can go backwards and forwards and talk about any changes that need doing. So look, Tim's already re responded. That was quick. Okay, look at the email. Uh, can you add your name to the file? I forgot that. Let's open it in GitHub. Okay, it's see, and we can see the pull request again. Sure thing, we'll let him know we're doing it. And now we have to edit the file again, so we'll go back to our version of the repository controls, Calavera Manual. Edit the file again, Captain Commando. And now there's a comment at the top, we can recycle that. We'll edit, press the edit button. And we'll say this set of controls was contributed by Manuel Calavera. Okay, now this now counts as a change, so we have to add another little message saying what we did. Added name as requested. Save changes. And now it's done. This has now automatically updated our existing pull request, so we don't have, to, don't have to send a new one. Go to pull requests, have a look. We're now in the original repository on MU Chicken. You can see this can be merged without problems. You can see the two changes we made, the first one and then the edit. Now we can see the, um, the file as it is before it lands in the main repository. So we'll go in, let Tim know that we've finished our work and that he can now merge the changes. And that's it. Bye!